Hello and welcome to IR Photo Tours and today we're going to be talking about tripods after this. <laughs> If you haven't checked out my channel before, my name's Ian Robinson. I predominantly do landscapes. I do a bit of portrait and astrophotography, and they are my genres that I really enjoy the most. I also enjoy traveling, but that has been incredibly hard this year. I've, I've felt that I couldn't get out much, but hey, that's another story all on its own. But today we're gonna to be talking about tripods. I don't know whether uh, many of you know, but I've been doing landscape photography for cool, since at least 2009. So what, 11 years now? And with landscape photography, what you really need is a good quality tripod. I'm not one for uh, looking after the tripods they are a proper workhorse and i have two here and i have always gone for um manfrotto this this one here is a manfrotto 055x pro i believe and this particular one here um, was my very first tripod ever and uh, as you can see there um it is being a bit of a workhorse you can see all the rust marks there i'm going to show you get close up all these rusty bits here to be fair the steel one is a very good one i'm surprised that the legs still work very well <laughs> they, uh, this this tripod this tripod has been on the beach and it has been everywhere with me um but yeah i mean it's been everywhere just have a look at that look that is called, that is really, you know, that is a lot of wear and tear in there. That was the very first serious um, tripod I ever owned. And that was from Manfrotto. And that was the Manfrotto uh, 055X Pro B. And it's the old styley. And that has lasted me a good 10 years. And that is, um, I still use it now. I use it for the Astro. As you can see, I'll put, I'll put the, I'll dedicated that to my Astro photography and put it, put the uh, Sky Tracker on, onto that tripod. I realised for a little while that um, images like this, my fingers were freezing to the, to the poles of that steel tripod. So I kind of thought, and and also it was very heavy. I realised it was a very heavy tripod to lug around everywhere and, and uh, lug up mountains and what have you. So then I went on and moved on to the Manfrotto X-Pro 055 carbon fiber. And the carbon fiber one has done me proud. The problem with Manfrotto though, is they do wear, they wear big time. And there is, can you see the movement in that head? Can you see that? Now that, to me, is not very good. You get a bit of wind on that and then you know that's going to move this Let's put the center column up oh my god i can't even i can't even get the center column tightened up anymore look at that wow that is quite dirty now this has been a good workhorse for, for many years but i have noticed through the years there's loosening of the legs you can hear that see that now that's um that's the loosening of the leg there. And um, also, as, as time has gone on, these clips, these clips that you can see here, I'll just show you. These clips, as you can see here, have all corroded and broken. And, you know, they, they just, they do take their toll. And in the end, we did have one clip totally snap on us. The, the result of a few, quite a few years of, usage i'm sure if i was to contact manfrotto they could replace this but it's getting to the stage now where everything is getting really worn on this tripod so after a long long deliberation i bought the benro um, after 
coping with my uh, old Manfrotto carbon fiber <laughs> tripod for a very, very long time. I've, I've probably had that leg broken now for a year. So after a long, long, long time of looking, reviewing and uh, having a good look, um, I came across Ben Rowe and this, this tripod is absolute, in my opinion, value for money. If you want a tripod for landscape photography or anything really, um, then this guy, <laughs> this, this particular model is, is going to be the one for you, in my opinion. It comes in a bag like this. I'm going to unpack it and show you. £300 this was. So £300 for this particular tripod. Great value for money. And it comes with its own bag. That in itself is amazing. Because um, you don't get that with other, with other tripod manufacturers. I can tell you now. Certainly not Manfrotto. So when you think about it, Manfrotto can be very expensive in the end. You're getting everything here for 300 pounds yeah another you get the tripod in the bag so that's in the bag itself so there it is you have these three little pockets here or two little pockets and in one pocket you have a small extension rod for your tripod so this this is something that you would put on if you wanted to get really low to the ground so that would go into your center column you take your your big center column out and you put this in its place and then of course you get your metal spikes as well which is quite handy and then in this side in this pocket you have a strap so you can put the strap onto the the bag itself and that's quite a, a neat idea you can put all your tripod in the bag and and put it away keep it nice and clean for another 10 years or so um, so that's the bag and that's what you get in the bag now the main thing of course is what you get in your try what you get in the bag here which is the uh which is the tripod of course and now pulling that out of the bag instantly instantly i look at that and i think that is really nice quality to just take your feet off for example you would go like that unscrew the rubber feet and the rubber feet are angled as well which you can see there which is nice of course so when you're tapered out it actually seats nice and flat on the floor with these with these twist locks you know just bear in mind you do not have to go mental and keep untwisting it because if you do that all you can do is take the foot off and lose the plastic bits so just be aware one little twist out lock off one little twist out lock off that's all, all it needs it doesn't go move anywhere it's perfect spot on look at that and and what i do love about this of course is the height of it um for me being six foot three it's a perfect height now i'm going to show you the height of this compared to the manfrotto manfrotto one um there you go just put that side by side so as you can see so from here you've got a good eight inches higher i would have said and then of course if you unscrew this column the center column here you can bring that up and screw it back up i didn't need to screw unscrew that that much to be fair and that is rigid as hell and there's no movement in that at all and it's so incredibly light and i, I love it for, for the for going up mountains and things like that this has got to be the perfect perfect uh uh tripod it really has so let's bring that down because we're out of shot a little bit there um so that's got to be absolutely spot on so that is the benro mac 3 what i really love about it is the pull out systems here you can bring out the legs that really clip in nicely it's really smooth no clips to worry about you know it really is that simple and there you go look how small that is uh, but let's have a look at the uh, length when it's all put together and squeezed together yeah look at that so a little bit smaller as well in the height as you can see there so a little bit smaller in the height um, from the head to the foot so 
nice nice and compact in that respect and it's so light i can't get over how light that is that's such a nice tripod oh the other thing that i like pull them out oh pull them out or you leave them out but there you are that's that is you pull that out pull that out and then you can get really low to the floor yeah so that is that and then if you want to put the uh, center column in what you do you unscrew this at the bottom here take that out being very careful to put that somewhere safe when you do undo this take the center column out as simple as that and then put your new center column in lining it up with the ridge and there's a ridge in there you line that up with the ridge on here and that's this one seems to be steel so you've got a steel one with this one and then you put that in and tighten it up and there you go look at that so it goes to three different levels basically closed up one pull it out just go just go a little bit more bring it in pull it out pull up bring it out you can go in a bit if you like and close it off and that's how easy it is fantastic tripod 300 pounds you get that you get the center column you get your spikes you get your bag you get your strap to carry over your shoulder excellent value for money the height of it i love um, there's no movement anywhere it's all feeling very solid and very feels very nice and fluid as you open the legs up you open one leg up and you pull it out i don't think it's enough to drop it does drop a little bit so some people are complaining that, that the legs don't drop well i think they do to be fair on the last one especially on the last one um it's really easy really easy really nice nice fluid movements and more importantly nice and solid and firm and robust the other thing that i do like that i haven't mentioned about um, the, this particular model is you do get a hook on the end now i've taken it all apart now haven't i but you do get a hook on the end and i'm going to put that down now because i don't need that uh, and the hook on the end is is on a spring and you can hook a bag on that to really add some weight to that and really add stability to the tripod it has a bubble on the top which is what i like as well value for money wow you are not going to get a better tripod than this ben row for the money you're just not you're really not it's amazing value um so i'm impressed so for me at ir photo tours in robinson i'll catch you later